Hey guys, today is Tuesday, October 1st. I stepped on the scale and this is what it said. Okay guys, so 189.6. Basically, I have gained 4.8 of the five pounds that I lost in August back over the month. But the truth is, this is not a real gain. This is just a snapshot of where I am right this moment. Two days ago, I was 186.4, which don't get me wrong, still represented a gain from August. However, it's not that large. So I started alternate day fasting. Yesterday was my first day. I actually made it all day without eating. I still haven't eaten at this point. So I'm on the right track doing the right thing. But of course, in typical fashion, I started my challenge yesterday. So the day before it's like, I went totally crazy because like I'm starting my challenge and I'll get back on track tomorrow, you know, like we always say. So I had a huge gain from just the overeating that I did on the weekend to prepare for the challenge or whatever. So I, this isn't a steady, consistent gain. I do expect it to go away over the week. But I stepped on the scale today. Today's the first of the month. Today's when I have to report my weight. But I just want you to know I'm not discouraged. I know that this is only a snapshot. I know that I'm still holding on to bloat from my overeating. I, you know, so it's not like I'm like, oh, I've gained five pounds. I'm going backwards. Like, no, none of that. Like, this is where I am right now. And that's why stepping on the scale is so important because it takes your excuses away. It, you know, like nobody cares that like, oh, I was really at 186 a couple of days ago and this is just cause I'm bloated and don't worry, it'll go back down. Like the scale does not care about that. The scale is telling you exactly what you weigh as of a certain time. And as of right now, this is what I weigh. So I get the story in the context, but it's also good to have that objective, impartial view that's showing you where you are right at the moment. So. I'm not discouraged. My goal for this month is just to net a loss. So to get basically below 184.8, that will be a victory for me. So I am alternate day fasting. Yesterday was great. It was day one. So of course you feel strong on day one, but like I'm excited to go through the week and through the month, continuing this alternate day fasting, hoping it'll yield some good results. How did you do in September? What does your October weigh in look like? Did you meet your goals? Were you slipping up? Are you participating in October fast? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.